Hi, my name is Art Deaver, and I want to show you with photographs and video how Winchester Bay and Reedsport will be impacted by the Salmon Harbor Management Committee's plan to close and remove our East Basin docks. This is a photo of Winchester Bay. The town and all the businesses are at the bottom of the photo. The water adjoining the town is named the East Basin. Above the East Basin is the West Basin, and facing it is the Salmon Harbor RV Park. Notice that the docks in the West Basin have lots of boats, and the county's RV park completely surrounds both sides of the West Basin on both peninsulas. And a result of getting East Basin boats to move to the West Basin, the RV spaces all now have wonderful views. For the last several years, Salmon Harbor Management has been quietly requesting boat owners to move their boats from the East Basin in Winchester Bay to the West Basin. At the same time, they have told the boat owners that they would not be using funds from dock fees or business leases to maintain the East Basin docks anymore. Stopping all maintenance and telling boat owners that eventually Salmon Harbor would be closing all the East Basin docks has succeeded in getting 90% of the boat owners to move over the last couple of years. Recently, we were notified in the paper that the East Basin docks would close and be removed. Slam dunk. The communities of Reedsport and Winchester Bay were all screwed without as much as a public hearing. When the Salmon Harbor Management Committee is through with it, there will not be much of a boat presence, if at all, in the East Basin. However, the RV park will have those wonderful views I told you about. Yachts and pleasure boats, fishing boats, as the last East Basin boats get moved to the West Basin and our docks get carted away. To give you an idea of what the impact will be to Winchester Bay and Reedsport, I want to show you the result of what the county has planned for Winchester Bay. First, this is a view from the RV park. You can see the maintained hedges and lawns and how everything is perfectly taken care of. It's the West Basin. This is what one now sees from the RV park. It's attractive. The RV park, like I said, is maintained perfectly. It has first-class amenities and first-class landscaping. And, of course, this wonderful view for the RV park. None of this can be seen from Winchester Bay. That's right, none of it can be seen from Winchester Bay. Here's the RV park's new event center. It can be rented by RV groups. During these hard economic times, the county found several hundred thousand dollars to build it, though it doesn't make a profit and is rarely rented. It's just an amenity for the RV park. From its windows and outdoor areas are wonderful views of the boats in the West Basin. More recently, it was enlarged, and the county found funds for that also. Building the event center and then enlarging it is proof that Sa Salmon Harbor did not have any interest in maintaining docks for a boat presence in the East Basin. It's money that could have been used to repair the docks in the East Basin. Funds have also been used to create more amenities for the West Basin, while in the East Basin, the docks rot. This is all money that could have been used, if they had their priorities right, to keep a boat presence in the East Basin. Now this is the current view from Beach Boulevard. This is what the Salmon Harbor Management Committee has planned for the East Basin. Some of the docks are already gone. The rest are slated to be removed within a year. When it's all done, people driving down Winchester Hill on 101 will be able to look and see a group of pilings. Here in Winchester Bay, what you'll see is rows of pilings that are clear evidence to any tourist that there used to be an enterprise or something here that failed and was partially removed, but some of the remains were left. Without boats, the very character of Winchester Bay will be gone. The abandonment of a boat presence in the East Basin is something that every business and homeowner in Winchester Bay and Reedsport should oppose with whatever it takes to stop it. There are lots of boats in the West Basin as a result of the harbors failing to maintain the East Basin docks. They say, we have to quit maintaining the docks because they don't generate enough money to maintain them. They are at less than 50% occupancy. What they don't tell you is the truth, and that is that they have for years been telling boat owners that they're not going to maintain the docks anymore, and so they'd be better off to move to the West Basin. So now they can claim that the docks don't generate enough money to justify maintaining or improving them. Of course they don't, because basically they chased the boats out. This plan certainly ensures a nice view of boats for the harbor's giant RV park at the expense of all the rest of us. Already the absence of boats is, and docks is hurting tourist businesses. It will, over time, have a devastating impact to us all. The only thing the harbor could do that would injure Reedsport and Winchester Bay more is to drain the East Basin, fill it in, and plant grass. The problem isn't that there is no demand for dock space. Sure, there isn't the demand that there once was, but we do have the boats. They are all one by one being moved to the West Basin, out of sight from the businesses, the tourists, the community, and from Highway 101. Reedsport and Winchester Bay are completely tourist dependent. There are seven restaurants with water views facing the East Basin.
There are three motels, there are gift shops, charter boat offices, and other tourist and water-related businesses facing or near to the East Basin. There is only one private tourist-dependent business in the West Basin. The boats in the harbor are far and away the most desirable attraction in the area. It has been the defining thing about the character of Winchester Bay for over 50 years. When Salmon Harbor is through, there will be no view of boats coming down Winchester Hill. All you'll see is abandoned pilings. The plan to let all this happen has evidently been going on for several years now, but it's not too late to get the Salmon Harbor Management Committee to change its priorities and get back to doing the business of running a harbor. Part of the irony of all this is that every restaurant, gift shop, charter office, and tourist-related business fronting on the water in the East Basin is on land the business is leased from the harbor itself. Not some of them, but every one of them. The obvious conclusion is that the harbor has decided to let these already struggling businesses fail and be empty buildings over time in favor of a nice view of boats for their RV park. Why the harbor felt no obligation to the business owners on county land or the community as a whole is a question that needs an answer. Somehow over time, the Salmon Harbor Management Committee that oversees and directs our harbor master seems to have forgotten about its primary mission of fostering marine and water-related activities. It has forgotten its obligation to the business community and to the very businesses that lease land from the harbor itself. It has somehow become sidetracked from its mission statement into being primarily a big RV park in competition with private RV parks in the area. Like I've said, Reed's Port and Winchester Bay are interdependent and completely tourist dependent. What affects one impacts both. Arguably, the biggest attraction in our area is the boats in the harbor. Without boats and docks, there is no attraction for a tourist to stop. People won't sit in a restaurant and look out over abandoned piling. No one walks along a sidewalk to view sticks jutting out of the water. And as the businesses fail, fewer and fewer tourists will stop here. These are tough economic times, and I recognize that. But removing the boat presence and leaving abandoned pilings will prevent any private enterprise from investing here. That's important. Removal of the docks will deter any private investor from establishing a tourist business here. Within 10 years, what we will have is more empty buildings. Overall, the plans to remove the docks and take away the boats is the result of basically abandoning Winchester Bay in any possible future. We can still do something about this. Winchester Bay can be saved. It'll take all of us to do it. Carla Hedgepeth obtained over a thousand signatures opposing what the Salmon Harbor Management has planned for our harbor. And of course, below is a list of points of contact for our county commissioners, our elected legislators, and our senators. Write them, phone them, email them. If we don't stop this and keep a reasonable boat presence in Winchester Bay, we all lose. I have spoken to many of the business owners here, and most are angry as hell about this. I propose that when enough people in Reedsport and Winchester Bay become aware of the county's plans, that we schedule a meeting at the Pacific Auditorium and demand or invite the county commissioners and Salmon Harbor management to come so that we can let them know how their policy will impact Reedsport and Winchester Bay. We can stop this. One of our problems, it appears to me, is the Salmon Harbor Management Committee. We need people on this committee that have an interest not only in the harbor, but a relationship with the community and a long-range vision for the harbor that takes into account the future of business here. We don't have that now. Please remember, we can stop this.